Hello everyone, I am Nidhi Roy. Welcome in the channel of Physics by Nidhi Roy. So today's our topic is Atomic Force Microscope that is AFM and it can be asked in a long question in semester 2. So it is important and I am going to explain it. So come on the topic introduction. At first we will discuss introduction. AFM is a type of scanning probe microscopy that is SPM with demonstrated resolution on the order of fractions of a nanometer more than thousand times better than the optical diffraction limit. The information is gathered by feeling or touching the surface with a mechanical probe. How can we gather the um, information uh, from the um, mechanical probe with the help of feel, feeling or touching? We can gather the information. Physioelectric elements that facilitate tiny but accurate and precise movements on electronics command enable precise scan. So, it is our introduction part. Now, come on the principle. The EFM consists of a cantilever. It will consist of a cantilever with a sharp tip, having a sharp tip that is also called probe at its end and, that, and it is used to scan the specimen surface. The cantilever is typically silicon or silicon nitride with a tip radius of curvature on the order of nanometers. When the tip is brought into proximity of a sample surface, force between the tip and the sample lead to a deflection of the cantilever according to the Hooke's law. Depending upon the situation, force that are measured in AFM include mechanical contact forces that is Van der Waals forces, capillary forces, chemical bonding, electrostatic forces, magnetic forces, etc. Along with force, additional quantities that is additive quantities may commonly be measured through the use of specialized types of probe. Third one is our introduction that through the figure uh, we can know about it that is it is our PZT, it is our cantilever and tip, it is tip, it is a laser, it is photodiode and it is our detector and feedback electronics. There is a numbering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2 through which where A which is small spring like cantilever and our second number so as I said that one it is one which is a small spring like cantilever and it is two which is our support and it is three which is a piezoelectric element and it is a four that is looking like a sharp tip and it is a five which is our detector and six which is a sample seven it is our XYZ drive and 8 which is our sample stage. It is our sample, it is our sample stage. So, the small spring like cantilever that is 1 is carried by the support 2. Optically, optionally, a piezoelectric element 3 oxalate the cantilever 1. The sharp tip that is 4 is fixed to the free end of the cantilever 1. The detector 5 records the deflection that is it is our 5 which is record the deflection and motion of the cantilever 1. The sample 6 it is our sample which is denoted by 6 is mounted on the sample stage 8 and XYZ drive 7 permits to place the sample 6 and the sample stage 8 XYZ direction with respect to tip apex 4. Although the above figure shows the drive attached to the sample, the drive can also be attached to the tip or independent drives can be attached to both since it is the relative displacement of the sample and tip that needs to be controlled. So now come on the working. It's working. According to the configuration described above, the, inf uh, the interaction between tip and sample which can be an atomic scale phenomenon is transduced into changes of the motion of cantilever which is a macroscale phenomenon. Several different aspects of the cantilever motion can be used to quantify the interaction between the tip and sample. Most commonly the value of the deflection, the amplitude of an oscillation of the cantilever or the shift in the resonant frequency of the cantilever. So the detector 5 of AFM measures the deflection that is displacement with respect to equilibrium position of the cantilever and converts it into an electrical signal that is the intensity of this signal will be proportional to the displacement of the cantilever. 
सो ए एफ एम ऑपरेशन इज यूजली डिस्क्राइब एज वन ऑफ थ्री मोड्स दैट इज अकॉर्डिंग टू द नेचर ऑफ द टीप मोशन कॉन्टैक्ट मोड ऑल्सो कॉल्ड स्टैटिक मोड टैपिंग मोड एंड वाइब्रेटिंग मोड्स some applications of afm that is afm has been applied in a wide range of disciplines of our natural sciences including solid state physics semiconductor science and technology molecular engineering polymer chemistry and physics surface chemistry molecular biology cell biology and medicine so application in the field of a solid state physics include a the identification of atoms at a surface that at the surface there is a work of it that is it will identify the atoms b number that is the evaluation of interaction between a specific atom and its neighboring atoms and c the study of changes in physical properties arising from changes in an atomic arrangement through atomic manipulation so in molecular in molecular biology AFM can be used to study the structure and mechanical properties of protein complexes and assemblies. For example, AFM has been used to image microtubes and measure their stiffness. So, in cellular biology, AFM can be used to attempt the distinguished cancer cells and normal cells based on the hardness of cells. So, based on the hardness of cells, which one is hard? Uh, in the between cancer cell and normal cell it will distinguish it and to evaluate interaction between a specific cell and its neighboring cell in a competitive culture system afm can also be used to indent cells to study how they regulate the stiffness or shape of the cell membrane or wall thank you